This is a demonstration on how to set up a test using the XY software. Under the setup view and then the acquisition slash reporting tab, we can set up our test. Test method. We have six test methods we can program at once. The Q controller can handle the six test methods. The P controller can only have one. So right now we'll just work on test method one. The next window below is the data logging. Basically logging threshold tells you <coughs> tells the controller when to start collecting data. So when the test reaches 0.5 pounds, that's when it will start collecting data. You can select your logging rate. Right now we're at 1,000 samples per second. But if you hit the drop down menu, you have a bunch of predetermined um, test speeds. You go as fast as 1,000 samples a second or as slow as 2 samples a minute. We'll stay with 1,000 samples a second. Below that is the percent drop, the break detect. Right now it's set at 50%. And so if we have a lo max load of 10 pounds and the load drops below 5, which is 50% of 10, then that tells the controller that the sample is broke and that it should stop the test. Below that, there's a few options. You can stream your XY data. This is only available in XY Live. And then available in XY Live and XY Port, you can send XY data at the end of your test as well as send the current results at the end of the test. The next one below is the test specimen. You can choose between different predetermined um, sample dimensions. So if you select, select round, we can change our diameter and our length. But we'll stay with the flat since that's what our specimen is. We can also give it an identifier, a numerical identifier. We'll say this is a sample or specimen one. The next one goes over is the channels tab. Um, you can change your local overload. Um, it will not allow you to change um, your local overload greater than the range of the load cell. Right now we're at 49 pounds and we'll leave it at that. The next window over for options you can change is your units for each for load, stress, length, time, position, and strain. Each has their own drop down menu to look through and change to whatever um, units you'd like to be in. The next tab over is our analyses. We can select from a, a list of standard analyses common with the P and Q controller. We can also go to an extended which has specific test analyses um, not on the P or Q controller but in the XY software. Right now we have maximum load selected. I would also like to select max stress. To add an analysis you just highlight it and press select. Now if you'd like to remove you can just select the analysis you'd like to remove and press remove. You can also double click the analyses instead of highlighting and pressing select. Max load you have a couple different um, options. Um, you can select a predetermined displacement between two displacements where you'd like to that max load to be taken. And you can also change your low and high limit uh, which will produce a pass-fail um, on the screen when the test is completed if it falls within that high and low limit. So I will set the low limit to 15 pounds and the upper limit to 30 pounds. I can do the same for stress as well. Do 100 PSI and 500 PSI. Once I have selected all my analyses and put in my high and low limits for each, I can move on to control. Basically here is where we program the tests and how to run. Um, right now the direction of loading right now is in tension so we're going to be going in the upwards direction. Post-test action 
basically tells when the test is completed tells the the machine to either go back to the home location or stop at where it's at. You can also input the jog rates, your home position, your home rate, preload and pre-rate if you'd like. Um, next is the servo tuning gains. These are factory defaults. Do not need to be changed. Um, if you're doing a load control test these are the gains you'd have to change to maximize the um, testing rate. Next window over is the profile. So we get we can change this is basically the first segment and how to how to move the machine for testing. For the control rate, we have three different options: load, position, and time. We'll leave it at position. We can change our control rate. Right now we're one inch per minute. We'll change this to two inches per minute. Next is our end channel. Again, we have three. We can three different um, end channel um, loadings. We can do load, position, or time. We'll stay at load. And since we want to go to break, we leave our end limit at zero. With the Q controller, we can add a second segment to our test profile by checking the box we can add a second segment again we have the same options as we did in segment A and then we can also cycle between those two segments by entering a number of cycles we can log every so often um, every so often cycle we can also put in a predetermined pause since we're going to break we don't need a second segment so I'll deactivate these two Once you've completed your test setup, we can do a right click save and save our profile uh, to a folder and bring it up later at a later date. Or, if, or we can upload to the indicator. Once it's completed up, uploading, we can load in our sample and we can start our test. We can view our results by printing the stored results from the controller over to the XY software. We have our four tests, with our max load and max stress and we'll get a once we have at least three tests stored we can print over the load mean high and standard deviation calculations we can also export this